last time we, we kind of talked about putting together a little arrangement for um, uh, around around midnight. And I was That's trying, and we were working. Uh, it's not going to be well, as I said, my plane's been sporadic, uh, mainly because of my job and studying and so on. But I, I try to play. And, um, I did watch the video a few times and went through it and tried to meticulously see what you were doing. I noticed I was trying to do kind of like uh, a descending bass line, and you were doing ascent and ascending bass line, but I couldn't see your hand that way. I, was, I saw it something like this, and I'm going, what's he holding there? And it's like, because we're in the key of E flat. And so it was like, uh, you know, well, that's the mel melody, you know, ba -ba, ba -da -ba -da. you know, so you were doing some, you, you hit something to kind of start off because the, the melody comes in to the, to the measure a little further. What, you, what are you doing? I turned the guitar around. I'm sorry, I, I can't really see what you're doing. Okay, then I'm gonna that's look what I'm losing. I'm going to point my body a little bit this no, way. No, no, it's okay. I mean, I just wanted to see. You didn't have to go. You don't have to oh, go no? that. I don't know where right to Right there, see. exactly. Okay. Just like that. Raise the strings a little bit. Here we go. Let's just raise the tune here just a smidge. for a bass string, you kind of kill it pretty fast. The twang goes away and it's so re like rubbery that it doesn't resist you and give you that. Part of the reason we hear all that sliding squeak is the resistance. Anytime I string light strings on that, it goes away fast. Anyway, so you... All right, so you got this going on there. But I, I mean, that's I one way. I kind of recall hear, hearing the, the, the human voice up. going up. Uh, James Bond line, you put a root down in the bass, then you get a fifth above it, and then a melody note, and then move your inner line, if you wish. By your inner line, yeah, that's right. That's it. You gotta kind of like angle it over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fingers are a pretzel right now. like a crossword puzzle. Right? Yeah, you can switch over to, to a, a four-note version. You won't be upset earwise. I don't think that this note just enters out of nowhere. You'll follow this line just through tradition. Okay, now going going to the, if you're going to the C, C minor, uh, 7.5. I 
factor? Like, how would you resolve that? And then you're arriving at the scene. So what, yeah, you can go there first. Do you prefer doing that, or, or do you prefer this first? Yeah, this guy. It's a half step above the bass is that is. Every other note's identical. Yeah. Little extension. Bass is half step up. Half step up. Yep. Yeah, that's the minor nine chord. It's the third inversion. So you actually, on the end of that little phrase, you end up on that say for instance the C minor there. You could go here or you could go here. But not at the end of the phrase, it's more like end of the motif, shall I say, the first tiny little motif, you could have this chord or that or anything reasonable there, you know. Now when you're going down, you're, going, you're working your way down to B flat, right? You're on C minor. You could go. What do we got there? That's a C7, sharp 9, flat 5. Put it on the top five strings, like the C of the bench. Uh -huh. C7, sharp nine, flat five. That's what I'm playing. Got it. Hey, that, I know that one. Now, if fingers on this set of strings and it's like a different part, it's not like yeah, yeah. Just, I knew that you yeah, would respond well that it was bad. Came back into its own. Yeah, definitely inspired me. Yeah, it's funny. Like, like I said in the article, sometimes it has a major impact on whether a guitar is sad and unloved, or isn't it so? I mean, you just experienced it firsthand again. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, if your hands are happy, you're going to be doing more. And Let me tell my tweaking guitar to get it right. Yeah, I just want to play it. Then. So, okay, uh, okay, now we're down to this part where we, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, wait, no, there's a B chord. Oh, we lost it. Huh? So we were, I mean, we got right here, right where we C flat, we call it B for ease. Are we playing this or the flat at nine? Every time you do this interval on a degree oh, okay. that isn't the five or acting like a five, you might be upset about it. It's going to be and well chosen. Maybe. Skinny? Okay, go ahead. No, what are you? I was just saying. Ba -da -da -ba -da. Yeah, that's what we're doing. 11. Key has the tonic chord with the softest 
quadrant, four quadrants being minor seven, half diminished, darker minor six, darker still minor major seven. Right. Of those, the minor seven is the soft, easy on the ear one. Right. Minor seven by five is soft and sad. Minor six kind of mysterious. Minor major seven maybe the saddest, and the strangest, and brief, strange, eerie. I always thought that the major minor was just coming from and going to. Oh no, it's grief. Like, like in um, grief. Uh, it's grief. Masquerade or something like that. Grief. Maybe you just hear it. It's, it's grief tragic. by itself. Yes. It's tragic. I mean, they use it for tragedy. In the but I remember your chord chemistry book. You were saying some chords don't belong being played by themselves. Even However. We opened up with that in that first book. <laughs> yeah. We said, try this chord. And I was so young that I thought everything, everybody would think this was hideous except for a few guys. Uh -huh. But actually, it's not dark and it's strange enough. So when I showed it in a picture, I went. Now, that's all. I've even forgotten what it Oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So that, that was my impression. Oh, minor, major, sevens are like between the root and go into the flat and seven is just kind of a descending thing. Usually that's where I hear it. It is the most common place, but you do hear it as a melodic thing. Mm. That's minor major on the fourth degree where it softens it. Mm. Fourth degree has a sad color when you put the minor major seven in. what the jazz guys would do or the orchestrators they put the five of the key down there uh -huh. and get the 11 and 11 flat nine with the 13 so it's a pretty sound yeah. so they're not always completely a train wreck these things but okay. you put them out by himself and it's just grief but yeah, they offer more than it's just grief and tragedy and stark hideousness okay so, for, so where were we by the way Last point. I won't forget what we were doing. They use it for really scary monster films too. Yeah. Remember, if you get like contracted for a horror film, you don't know what the point. <laughs> I'll be the first guy. You'll be the first guy. I'll call it. Ted. Thought of you. Hi, Ted. Thought of you. Yeah. Play those. Uh, a little card will come in the mail. Thinking of you. Phantom of the Opera. Part two. The stop sink. Uh, here we go. Um, Anytime you have minor seven situation, it's that soft edge thing, esotonic chord. As you might recall, that chord's super friendly with the four dominant chord. So that's what's happening. They've gone essentially. So then it becomes a question of how do we put the melody in? That would be the very straightforward. Right. Where you just let it come up, turn it into a minor seven chord, since it's a natural physical event there, to turn it into this. Uh, it turns it right into the four dominant. Four dominant. Thing. Ah. Got, the brain has to turn into the yeah. Now in jazz, four dominants don't fly always so easily without some other color tone, so we're going to put the 13 in there. Strum it. No, you know, because we is, will get ugly yeah. in there too. Uh, if we could, we would sometimes, but not in this kind of thing where you have this. Uh, if you're doing it here and you have that, there's Lenny Bro. Uh, and I like that. I, I want to see what you're doing. The start, start in this other kind of thing. Just, just in the tank, there you go. Okay, so this is going to be. We're, we, okay, we're going to introduce a chord at that point. Yeah, we're introducing. I got it. It's a splitting voice. It was part of the soprano. I want to say this clearly, and I want your brain to okay, listen, please. Right, yes, thank you. It was part of the soprano. Okay. But we held on to it, and it became part of the dropping voice. Okay. You know that. 
that so there you've got three now. That's true. Okay, and that's cool. And that's where we're going to introduce the fourth for us, too. We're actually going to... We're going to bring this note in, too. Just for grins. Still the same lines, nothing's changed. Just don't put that in there yet. Yeah. So we have, now we're going to go to the five of the four. Say it to me. Five of four. And what is the five of four in this case? A flat the seven. doesn't work. The way A flat it seven be. is the four chord. You said that. And it's true. So we're asking you, what is it? That's the E flat. And what quality of chord? Yeah, it's going to be a dominant. That's what I introduced right there. But we don't play roots in the bass for that kind of voice anymore. Don't be upset, man. You're driving like you're too mad at yourself. You can't know this stuff if you haven't been working with it recently. Okay, all right. So we have this basic E flat 7. All right. And then we're going to have a raised 9. And then the melody, I think, just sticks out there a few frets. Yeah. And, you just and down a half step, it becomes the A flat 13. So you go. I'm getting hung up on. As you I'm drop your this. line, that's what it is. But add the other note. Add that too. Please. Because that's what justifies the next one. The bass note real well. We don't add that yet. We do. We're ready to add it. No, no, not yet. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. So let's try that one thing one more time. Now I have to say one more thing, man. I just got to say it. Please listen and please don't be mad. Because I don't mean any harm. <coughs> the second chord. It's not just the E flat minor major, and you need to know for the future that in all songs, when you have the minor major dropping sound, right, okay. it's also a five chord. Say five. it to me. The minor major chord is also a five chord. Yes, it is. Of so what? here's. Excuse me? Of the home key? Yes, you bet your bottom dollar. So when you have. That isn't just E flat minor, that's also B flat seven sharp. Okay, got it, got it. And that's why we did this. Yeah. So when you call that B flat, the five, then this is the one. Sorry. So we go to five, four, four. All we did was. So we We front cycled into the four. We just pushed our way aggressively towards the four dominant. So we went. Oh. Oh, that's hard to hold. Oh. That's why we don't do it on that set. You're trying to reach over the thumb. Get the E flat and get the bass. It's hard to reach E flat. Yeah, yeah with the fingers want to go all over with it. You need you need a real long thumb for that. <laughs> So make a bar G. I'm barring a G and getting E flat with the, oh, with the even that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, now that would do it. I think that would kill my practice time. Three half steps up. That's my way to try to not get lost in the okay. song. To a minor dominant, and down a half step minor, minor yeah. dominant. Then that takes us. But a you're step. not going to just go. No, we're going to do something. Okay. I mean, this is this is Nick's brain at work. Can't think of nothing. So if I say else. no, yes, you can. If I say you must entertain your date. It's not enough to be at dinner with her. She has to be entertained. Yeah, you've got to sprinkle, say, hey, did you hear the one about the... So... Yeah, exactly. Even just... 
just delayed entrances like that. It's fun. Like a kid would go for that. It sounds like notes of falling downstairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's still the same. We just oh, break. I mean, seriously, you're joking, right? No. You're not joking. Oh, no, I love that sound. Yeah, yeah. We have now entered Alice's Wonderland. Okay. The cards are falling. <laughs> Except uh, vertically, I'm not pleased. I want, these days, I just want a little more color in the, in the seventh. I just don't, this isn't acceptable anymore for me to be happy. So. Thank you. 